Hello everyone, this is Dr. Dhiman and I welcome you all to this microprocessor tutorial series. In this video, we will learn about the input-output read machine cycle and we will learn about the timing diagram, how to draw the timing diagram for the input-output read operation. Suppose we have an input device and we will read out the input device content. So we will be having one microprocessor. This is suppose the microprocessor 8085 and we have an input device. Okay, this is suppose input device we have to find out the or we have to read the content of this device that is we have to transfer the input device content to the microprocessor so this is a read operation so you have to be clear in mind while reading the question in the examination point of view that this is a read instruction when this is a read instruction something will be read from the input output device or from the memory unit okay so in this video we will take one example and we will understand about the input output machine cycle timing diagram in our previous videos we have already learned about the opcode fetch machine cycle memory read machine cycle memory write machine cycle in this video we will cover the input output read machine cycle so these are the signal values for the input output read machine cycle now let us understand as it is a read operation similar to the memory read operation the status signals will be 1 and 0 here also this is 1 and 0 okay as it is a read operation and read, read bar signal is the active flow signal so here we will be having a zero value right bar signal will be one because this is not a write operation okay input output or memory bar now our operation is concerned with the input output device and input output signal is active high signal so here we will be having a one value if it is a memory related then it will be zero therefore input output read means we are related to the input output device and this is a read operation therefore it will have a one value similarly this INTA acknowledgement signal it will be only zero in the case of INTA operation okay now let us consider this row this is the input output read operation and and let us understand with one example so first of all let us understand what are the input output devices addressing scheme so in the case of 8085 microprocessor separate 8 bit addressing scheme for the input output devices is there the input output devices can be interfaced using two types of interfacing so the number one will be the peripheral mapped input output so in the case of peripheral mapped input output device a device is identified with 8 bit address and it is enabled by the input output related control signals the second type of input output interfacing is the memory mapped input output in this case the device is identified by 16 bit address and it is enabled by the memory related control signals but in this video we will learn about the peripheral mapped input output interfacing okay so in this case of input output read machine cycle we have to draw the timing diagram the purpose of this video is to draw the timing diagram and in the case of timing diagram what is important most important part is the timing when the signal is having some transition we will represent the timing diagram in terms of some t states now let us consider one example suppose we have this instruction here in this is the operation code or this is the op code so op code the machine code for this in will be db db in hex code so this db is the op code for this in instruction or input instruction so this instruction will read the content of the input output device that has a memory address of this one 84 h this is the address or this 84 in hex code this is the address of the input device so using this instruction what will be the performed or what will be the operation the content of the input device of which address is denoted by 84 in hex code will be transferred into the accumulator that means whatever be the data in the input port or the input device of which the address is 84 in hex code that will be transferred into the accumulator suppose let us consider we have some memory address 
suppose we have some memory addresses suppose arbitrary memory addresses we are assuming here this is suppose 2065 and 2066 these are the two memory address suppose the content of this memory address let me write down here contents contents are suppose in the first memory address let me draw some lines here so in the first memory address we are having here 1101 1011 so in hex code this will be equivalent to db in hex code and in the 2066 memory address we have the content is 1000 0100 0, 0, 0. so the hex code equivalent will be 84h why i am considering 84 and why i am considering this db because this db is the op code for this in operation okay or that this db is the machine code for this in instra in operation and 84 h this 84 is the data or it is the address of the input device so here 84 it is the binary representation so in this case when the microprocessor finds this instruction so when the microprocessor finds this instruction for execution it will first read the memory locations 2065 and 2066 and then read the switch position 84h by enabling the interfacing device of the port okay so this 84 it is the address of suppose some input device or suppose it is a switch in the keyboard suppose the switch in the keyboard having this address or so in this input switch has an address of 84 so this microprocessor will read the switch position 84H by enabling the interfacing device of the port then the data byte from the indicating device or from the switch will be placed in the accumulator so we, i have already told you that the content of the input device of which address is the 84 okay so that content will be transferred into the accumulator so after execution of this instruction that will be the operation okay so whatever be the content of that input device that is denoted by this 84h address that will be loaded into the accumulator now we have already learned about the input output read we have these are the signals we have already learned about various signals that will be used for the timing diagram now let us see the timing diagram and let us compare with the memory read machine cycle and what is the difference between the memory read and the input output read machine cycle so for this instruction i n so let me show you here for this instruction i n let us see here we have already learned about this in instruction for this instruction we will be having these three machine cycles this one is the m1 machine cycle this one is the second machine cycle and m3 is the third machine cycle we have already learned about this opcode fetch machine cycle we have already learned about the memory read machine cycle and in this video we will learn about this input output read machine cycle so this input output read machine cycle also will be having three clock cycles or three t states so during this t states let me show with the with the clocks so this t1 it will be like this okay it will be like this again this will be one another clock and this will be third clock okay these are the three clock periods or three t states t states mean here t stands for the transition state or there are something called as the transition or there is the change in values or the binary values okay so in the case of opcode fetch we have seen that we have four t state t1 t2 t3 and t4 in the case of memory read t1 t2 and t3 i have already explained about this timing diagram in my previous videos okay so let us understand now about the input output read machine cycle so during the first t state this one let me consider here use another color so during the first t states the input device address and in this case we have the address is 84h this will be placed in the ad7 to ad0 and a15 to a8 ad this one is 7 ad7 to ad0 and a15 to a8 so both this address as well as the address that the multiplex bus will be loaded with the 84h 84h this is the address of that input device 
this is not data this is the address of the input device from which we have to read the data so let me repeat this 84h is the address of the input device or the input switch from which we have to read the data okay or from which we have to load the data into the accumulator so in this case as the address is of 8 bits usually we have 16 bit address bus in the case of 8085 microprocessor so what we will do this 84h data will be loaded into the ad7 to ad0 this is the time shared multiplexed address data bus as well as the a15 to a8 this higher order address bus this will also have 84H. So both the address as well as the data bus during the first T1 state it will be having the 84H that is the address of the input device. When the address data multiplex bus works as an address bus so during the first cycle that is the T1 T state it will be working as an address bus therefore we can say that we have to make the early signal high for the t1 machine cycle so during this t1 machine cycle we have a high signal here we are learning about this input output rate machine cycle okay so in this case during the first machine cycle as the address data bus this is the ad72 ad0 as this is working as a address bus therefore the early signal must be high during this period and this is the address bus a15 to a8 as this is the address bus there is no early signal required for making it a address bus it is already address bus because this ad7 to ad0 these are multiplexed address data bus we have to use this early signal during the during the first clock cycle to work it as a or to switch it as a address bus so during this first cycle this is the operation and in the second clock cycle what we will have to do we have to transfer the data from the input device we have to load so first of all we have learned that the input device address 84h is loaded into the or is placed in the 87 to 80 as well as the a15 to a8 and after completing this in the during the second clock cycle the microprocessor will assert the read bar signal so this is the read bar signal let me write on this side as well this is read bar signal this one is input output slash m bar signal and this is the a l e signal okay here we have memory read this is also active low signal here we have input output read this is also active low signal now let us zoom in okay so during this second clock cycle this is the t2 okay during the second clock cycle we have to now read the content of the input output device okay or the input device in this case so during the first clock cycle we have found out this input device by loading into the address bus as well as the address data multiplex bus okay during the second clock cycle what we have to do we have to assert the read bar signal this read bar signal must be low because we are concerned with the input output read operation and for the read operation as this is the active low signal we have to make this signal low during the second clock cycle okay so this will be low during the t2 and the t3 transition states okay or t states this is the input output read operation so this memory read operation will be so this will be high because this is the active low signal when this memory read is high then this will be working as a input output read so therefore we are making this memory read high for all the three t states okay and we have the input output read bar now so this is also active low signal as it is the active low signal as it is related to this operation of the input output read operation this is also zero during the second and the third clock cycle so using this read bar signal and the input output read bar signal the microprocessor will read the content of the input port so the data from the input port will be loaded into the address data multiplex bus because this is the data bus as well as the address bus 87 to 80 the data from the input port will come through this address data multiplex bus and it will be loaded into the accumulator 
and in this way the data will be read from the input output device and it will be loaded into the accumulator okay so this is all about the input output read operation thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you